your own show. That would be a dream come true. I did major in TV production at Northwestern University. And I did spend 20 years in Los Angeles working for a couple of TV networks. Maybe it's my turn to step out into the spotlight and shine. How long are you going to give me the silent treatment? <sighs> when I interview TV stars for electronic press kits or the web, a lot of them gave me positive feedback about my thought-provoking questions. So I think I could handle the challenge of being a traditional talk show host. Want to be my first guest? I've always loved creating things. Recently, I've started to design a furniture. It's furniture that I take and infuse with a message or meaning. How would I fare hosting a show about interior design? Two words, feng shui. And what about fashion? Let's just say I'd probably keep the experts in stitches. In my life, I've been fortunate enough to dine in some of the country's best restaurants. However, being a single woman living alone, I've never really felt the desire or necessity to develop any culinary skills of my own. So would I be a good host for a culinary show? I'm a cancer survivor. I also have a master's degree in spiritual psychology. As you can imagine, each of those experiences really made me a more informed and hopefully uh, an inspiring host for a show on health and well-being. I've got it. I'm a wild card. I'm passionate about people. I love visiting new places. So for my own show, I'll hit the road traveling across America in search of seemingly ordinary people with extraordinary experiences to share and stories to tell. Stories that will lift our spirits, remind us of who we really are. I'm ready to hit the road, the high road. Wanna come?